culinary mastermind behind the sizzling success of Bobo's Cakes and Catering Academy. Now, your uh, Bobo's expertise in food preparation and burning passion for creativity has brought her to author two mouth-watering cookbooks that have captured the hearts of food enthusiasts. I'm salivating already because I can't eat on duty. You know the adrenaline. So I can only eat after the, the show, but you, you've had a taste. So I just had a taste. They, they say the proof is in the pudding. Bobo, you're going to be assessed by none other than Silo Matikangmobe. This, this must be a career highlight. Shem, after this, from, from uh, greatness to greatness. So your assessment. But, but look at man, please. Man. <laughs> Bobo. Hey. Get yeah, welcome. But uh, I taste it. Like, That's a banana cake. Um, mwah. Yes. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, and your journey, just give us a sense, Bobo, mm. for those who are not familiar with your work, you cater mainly for events, traditional weddings, etc. Okay, um, good day to the viewers at home and everyone in the studio. I am Chef Bobo, Tonas Bia Sotobe, from uh, Crystal Park, Binoni. Um, I started the business um, at a very young age, actually. But you know, as we grow up, you decide, no, I want now to go to tertiary, you go to tertiary, you get a job, you work. I want to find that for the three big companies I worked for, I only lasted three years in each company. Mm. And the baking and cooking thing followed me through that time because I would bake at home, take the cakes to work, you know, and then they start buying. I will cook at home, bring salads to work on Mondays. You know, Sundays we cook a mm -hmm. lot of meal and then I take the salads to work. They start placing orders for their families as well. So in 2014, I decided to resign from work and then just continued with the business. And to honor, the beginning honor of your passion and your destiny. Yes. Are, are these uh, is a homemade or, or store-bought, the croissants? You make these? No, I made those ones. Oh, okay. In the white platter. Yeah. Big platter. I so the red cake, it's a Mali Yeah, I know that's a tough team, definitely. Um, and, and in terms of your, your success, because sometimes, as you're saying, yes. it's, you, it's safer to, we think it's safer to have a full time job, security mm. there. Meantime, it, it doesn't give you joy. Mm. You went and, and pursued your, your, your passion. And, and how has your, your business been, the success rate thereof? You know what? If I can, I can tell you the honest truth, it's not always easy. You know, there are times where you don't get customers. There are times where you get a lot of customers. Even like building the business. When you start building the business, the money goes back into the business. You don't even get to, you know, buy yourself a T-shirt mm. or socks or anything or go out for just coffee. You know, you have to put back the money into the business. Yeah. So you just need to know what is it that you want exactly. Just focus. You know, focus. Yeah. The marketing, I mean, just for today, mm -hmm. uh, having Seloma Kegangobe as well, what does it mean to you? Do you remember him as I? Wow, I know you very well. well. I'm, I'm so excited. Actually, when I went <laughs> into the studio, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yes. I'm going to taste your red cake. It takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> wow. And, and I mean, like, like you're saying, the collaboration mm. that you need, because from this will come more customers, mm -hmm. uh, and you have the endorsement as well from mm. Silo. What does it mean, all of this for you? Are you taking it in? Oh, or is it a bit surreal? Gosh. You know what? Um, someone um, I am following on Facebook, last week she posted something about God will bring someone to mm. take you to your next step, you know? Mm. Because at this moment, I'm, a, I'm at a bit lowest in the business. It's so quiet. The load shedding, these people, mm. you know, being stopped from waking, you know? And... When I just received this call, I was like, oh gosh. Amen. So you heard my prayers as amen, well. Amen, amen. Yeah. Okay, what's in the pots? In the pots, we have ingnalengkomo. I'll just call it in isizulu, ingnalengkomo. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to ask our Zulu speaking colleagues yes. to translate. In the name of the 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 Okay. That's okay. how they call it in Isikosa because mm. it's got yeah. beans. We call it umngushu. Yes. Mm. Just tilt the pot a little bit for, mm. for our viewers. Yeah. Uh, khali khali. Oh, Mix them up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Yum, yum. Okay. So okay. we're going to dig mm. in. There goes the diet. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Boba, where do we get hold of you? Mm. Okay. You can get hold of me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobo's Cakes and Catering Trading and Projects. And then on Instagram is Chef Bobo Kutane Sibia. Or on Facebook as well, my personal page, it's Bobo Tuanasibia Sotobe. Yeah. 
and mm -hmm. on WhatsApp for people who want to order books or to book for baking and cake decorating lessons or mm -hmm. for catering, they can get hold of me on WhatsApp. It's 083-480-9818. Because that's the easiest way to communicate. Then from WhatsApp, we can take it to email. Because I know there's those people who want to do things like professionally, especially with the companies. Mm -hmm. But it's quicker when you contact me first on WhatsApp, then we take it to email. Okay, we'll have that number, 083-480-9818.